an emotional send-off for one of the greatest umpires on African soil, Rudi Gurtzen. Known for his slow finger of death while umpiring, he became officially known as Slow Death. He would raise his left arm and index finger extremely slowly to signal a batter's dismissal while the fielding team appealed. Gordon officiated 331 international matches as a cricket umpire, the second highest number for an umpire after Pakistan's Alim Dar between 1992 and 2010. But to his son, he was just dad, with the kindest of hearts and the warmest of smiles. My father's got big, big shoes and then for me to fill that gap, it's nearly going to be impossible. Um, but I can tell you one thing, um, to be humble, um, accept everybody for who they are, um, not thinking too much of yourself and uh, just have loved for, for everybody and that's the type of person that my father was and I hope I can continue that legacy as a f family man. Besides being passionate about cricket, he was also a mentor for upcoming cricket stars and umpires in a small town of dispatch. He had a passion and that love for the game, not by umpiring itself, even for the way he took care of the pitches. And he looked after our people. Uh, our players know, and uh, I'm going to say this in Afrikaans, he was a brombier. He didn't like what's happening on the pitch and we couldn't perform as he would like us to do. He would always give a comment and always get the guys on the side and have a chat to them and try to make them positive again when, when the stuff was difficult to handle outside and so on. And that was Uncle Rudy. And uh, even if he's not busy preparing the pitches, he was there by the club. Uh, helping the guys, the youngsters that was coming through. Gurtzen also became the second umpire after Steve Bucknell to stand in 100 test matches. He leaves behind a well of wisdom that will live on for generations. I remember him mostly for his laugh and his smile and the way he treated people on the cricket field and on every sports field he ever went on, you know, from the golf course right through to to the even fishing, you know, he treated everybody with respect and everybody treated him with respect. I mean, it didn't matter who you were, he always had respect for you. He was a man that respected people, loved them, and probably the best thing he ever told me in life is if you've got love, it's pure love, you know, you've got everything in life. Gurtzen leaves behind his wife, four kids and grandkids. Lerat Ofekisi, SABC News, Dispatch in the Eastern Cape.